Hey y'all, Sherry G here. Welcome to the channel. So I'm back from North Carolina, South Carolina, because I visited both states. Had a great time. It was a really nice vacation. I just got back on yesterday, but I was able to finally catch this past Saturday's episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville. And so I am going to do some commentary on it. This video, though, I'm going to do a commentary on the little snippet where it's Letitia and Marceau talking in Uptown in the space that's going to eventually, I guess, be her realty office. So um, I am going to give some commentary about that. I thought this past episode was pretty, pretty good, um, actually. Also, um, again, I feel like there's a lot that's being unveiled. And so that's why I want to start off with this particular um piece because to me there was just a lot being unveiled here and just the fact that Letitia thinks everyone is coming after her I kind of want to talk about that because people are coming after her but why why what's going on they're coming after her and they're coming after her husband um so anyway keep in mind that when I do give my commentary my views are just my opinion and everything is alleged it's for fair use, entertainment, and all that jazz. So I'm gonna go run my disclaimer, run the little audio clip that I want to, or video clip that I wanna do my commentary on, and then I'll come back with my commentary. <music> Somebody called in the city of Huntsville and they're talking about that we're illegally gambling over here. But I don't even want that kind of stuff in my business. I don't ever want my company to have been associated with someone investigating for illegal activity. You know? It's so sad that you have people that is calling the city on you when the only thing you're doing is running a business trying to improve the community and, and, and make this community a, a better place and the benefit is for to give away homes oh. I don't know and I just feel like I just feel like canceling it all together and just moving differently Canceling the Bet on Black event is, you know, really upsetting for me. We've been putting work into trying to just really do things and really find out ways to improve our community. And when you have people that's coming coming against you for God knows whatever reason, you know, it's kind of heartbreaking. But it's just frustrating when you have the vocal minority talking so much against the people that are actually doing it. It's discouraging sometimes. It seems like it's always something. Always, always something. something. Like, you, like, know you know that. that I okay, guys. So one of the things that Marceau says is that, you know, he doesn't want um, his business to be seen in a bad light. He doesn't want his business to be seen one that um, is doing what um, illegal activities and et cetera. But it's a little bit too late for that, Marceau. It's $5.5 million dollars too late for that because that is a part of what you're going through right now with Sin Garden. That's a part of the claims that other people have against you. Bugs, Miss Joy. So it's a little bit too late for that. Um, and people are actually speculating and starting to scrutinize the fundraisers that you all have because it just seems like everything is not quite on the up and up. And I feel like this whole thing with someone calling the city, it could be true, it might not be true, but the bottom line is I think Marceau's just trying to step ahead of the fact that, and again, this is just my opinion, he didn't sell all those tables. And so um, he has to cancel the event. He had to cancel the daytime event or move the event around. I don't know, perhaps there was complaints because, you know, the neighboring um businesses didn't want them taking up so much space as far as the parking space. That place is not but so big. So anyway, the one thing he says, because you know he likes to talk a lot, he says that the vocal minority is always talking and making a lot of noise. And I 
thought to myself, well, if it was the vocal minority, it wouldn't matter because the voices of the vocal majority would outweigh those. So which one is it, Marceau? I have a feeling that it is the vocal majority. <laughs> but anyway, such is life. We, you know, Marceau is just not really good at words. He just likes to throw things out there and make himself seem like he is the smartest person in the room. Anyway, let's go ahead and listen to this next little bit of the clip, um, and then I'll come back and give my commentary around that. Um, Mason Mila's website has something about Canvas Beauty on it. Yeah, I remember that. So I instantly contacted the web designer and asked him, like, what is this? Didn't the same web designer design her web, her thing? I don't know if he designed her website or not, but I know he's in that industry, and that's why we chose to use him for it's making probably a, meals. probably a template, and that's something we should have caught. But my thing is, I'm like, I paid you a lot of money for this website, so... But y'all took care of it, right? Yeah, he took care of it instantly. Hey, mistakes happen. Remember, just think about Bet on Black. People are not just looking for the surface. Yeah, they're, they're looking combing for stuff. Through, I mean, right. they're combing through it to see what's going on. If that wasn't there, they'd have just be like, hmm, get them next time. I'm getting emails. I'm getting phone calls. I'm just tired. I'm, I'm just tired. I'm with you. I'm with you. Your customers didn't catch it. Yeah. It was probably just some hater. That it called. absolutely was a hater. You know? Like, I don't even understand why I get so much hate. I'm like, I'm Jeez. like, I do so much for people. I don't talk about people. I don't try to do people wrong. Like, I just don't understand why I receive, like, so much hate. It's just, it's just, it's just it's really irritating me. It's irritating me. It's irritating. I don't want to miss your makeup. I know. Me either. That's why I don't want to cry. <laughs> uh, nobody knows the designer. Everybody knows the owner of the brand. Yeah, it's for my kids. And it's the daughter's picture in their face. But me being their mom behind this, pushing them, is causing everyone to come at me. And at the end of the day, I'm like, it was a mistake. I reached out to the designer. He corrected the mistake. I think sometimes people just look for an issue to have with me, no matter what. It's just been a rough week for me, like for real. It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot when you have like, no matter how strong you are, and I do feel like at the end of the day, I am strong, but I do get tired. I get tired. Like you have people trying to interfere with your marriage, people trying to interfere with your business, people trying to interfere with you as a person. It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. No, I got tired with the, with, the, with, the, with the stuff, and you helped me through that. I'm just trying to return the favor. Thank you. If you keep your head up, you're going to be fine. I'm happy we're, we're a team and we have each other. Yeah. Let's get out of here, man. Why would you do that? Yes, that was just full of... Okay, guys, so there you have it. <laughs> Letitia is cracking under the pressure and she says that, you know, it, she doesn't know why people are hating on her. First of all, let's just talk about this whole web design thing. She claims that <clears throat> she paid a web designer and she could have, if she did, she need to fire them, right? Because we've seen these faux pas happen before um, with people who have like designed her little flyers and things like that with all of the misspelling and stuff like that. So whoever the people are that she has around her that she's hiring to do the work for her, um, she needs to vet better. She needs to actually look at what they've done previously. Um, so I kind of think that eh, is not really someone that's professional, at least. Um, if she did pay someone to do this, they're not that much of a professional. Um, and that I really feel like she just did it herself. But that's my allegation because I don't have any proof of that either way. But um, let's just say she did pay someone, right? A web designer to actually do this page for her. I've had web pages done before. And when you hire a web designer to do a page for you, they actually ask you to submit the information. They'll ask you how many pages you want. And of course, there's a charge, like there's like a basic fee <clears throat> for a certain amount of pages. If you want them to do the rest of the pages, and this has just been my experience, then they'll charge you even more or they'll show you like my web designer. She actually showed me how to do the um, page myself and how to build it. Um, she took me through a little class because if I wanted to didn't eventually change any information out on the page, I could do that without having to pay her or pay anyone else. 
So anyway, um, you provide all of that. You provide your about page um, as far as her products. She would provide the information on those products when it came to like her shipping policy. She would have done that as well as provided her own email. Now, Marceau was really quick to say that, you know, like um, it was probably a template that they used. But what are the chances that that template would have Canvas Beauty's email address in it? Because Stormy said that she made her own, she made her own web page. So I'm going to say they did not have the same web designer. And that's why Letitia was like, I don't know. Well, you do know. You know that you didn't. And it was not a template. And even if it was a template, like I said, what are the chances that it would have Canvas Beauty's um, email information in it? So to me, it's plagiarism, allegedly. Copy and paste, right? And you've been put on blast and you can't take the heat. What she should have done is when she originally found out that this was going to happen, she could have sent out an announcement to all of her customers who purchased already apologizing for the, you know, mistake. She could have also got on, on social media like they do for a black when they're advertising for their fundraisers and whatever they're doing down there. And they could have done like a little video and she could have had her and her web designer like explain what actually happened because she already knew that it was out there on social media. Now to say that it was a hater who actually did it, I don't know, they can call it whatever they want it, but it was someone with a watchful eye, right? Someone with good eyes who saw it and put it out there. But hey, production was the one who showed it to us. <laughs> if it wasn't for production, we wouldn't have ever seen it. So anyway, that's all I have to say about that. Like, um, but when Letitia's saying that she doesn't know why people are hating on her and they're always coming at her, it's the lack of accountability that people are coming after. Because quite honestly, when we were first introduced to Letitia, I was rooting for her. I was rooting for her to get out of the house. I was excited for her to just like step into her own life and do her own thing. If being a stay at home mom wasn't it, like I'm rooting for anybody who wants to step into their own, right? Um, discover their own journey, who wants to evolve, whatever that looks like. Um, but it's the lack of accountability. Um, and when she says that people are always coming after her marriage, well, the only people, the only, the only person who's really interfering with her marriage is her husband. And you remember, Tisha, you told Melody, where there's smoke, there's fire. Well, apparently Marcel's draws are smoking. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, it looks like more scales are falling off of the Scots, you know, and their business shenanigans, and they just can't take the heat. Neither one of them can take the heat, but I'm sure that there's more to come. So that's all I have for y'all in this particular video. If you haven't done so, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, because I will be back. Until then, ciao.